I'm going to make a statement here, bold one, but I doubt anybody watching right now will will disagree. Mitchell Robinson healthy, the Knicks would have beaten the Hawks. You can tell me all you want about Trey Young and how Trey Young dominated the Knicks in that series. Yeah, he did. He put up numbers, no doubt. And that team got to a conference final. I mean, they had a run, right? Mm -hmm. The X factor in that series with the Knicks was not Trey Young. It was Clint Capella. Yeah, big time. Big time. Dominated that series. Mm -hmm. Dominated. He took Julius out of it because he just shadowed him. He he just made a mockery of anything around the rim. He intimidated the Knicks. He was dominant. He was the reason why that series went the way it went. 100% true. If you know basketball, you know what I'm talking about. I know Trey got all the headlines and the attention, and I know he put up 30. I get that. But Capella is the main reason why. If Mitchell Robinson plays, that doesn't happen. I feel that. If he's healthy, mm-hmm. series goes completely different because Mitch can do all those things. Offensive rebound, keep the ball alive. He can block shots, rebound. He can catch the basketball, CP. We do know as much as we love New Orleans, he's got hands like feet. Yeah, right? yeah. Like he's, he's got he's those Evan feet. Ingram hands. He's a football yeah, equivalent. You go. You know what I mean? But I think Mitchell Robinson could be such an X factor this year a year older, a year stronger. I'm told he's gotten, you know, he, he's bulked a little bit, but it's not all the physical stuff. The things I'm hearing about him is neck up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. He's kind of getting it now, and he kind of understands it's a big year for him money-wise. Yeah. And he's not losing himself in, I'm trying to be like this guy or that guy. Like, he understands, like, you see what Capella got, right, from the Hawks? Like, if you just do that, you, you can get paid. And I'm telling you, I think he is going to be such a huge piece for this team this year. That's the thing I'm most excited to see out of everything. Me too. Me too. And yeah, I I was going to ask you about, you know, who you thought the X factor was going to be this year. For me, it is Mitch. It it is Mitch because he gives us so much versatility on the defensive end. Noel was an elite shot blocker. We know that, you know, top of the league in block percentage, steal percentage as well. Noel was great. And I thought near the end of the season, he he really dragged to the finish line. You know, there was points in every game almost where you felt like he wasn't coming back into the game. You know, so the durability was always a question mark with Noel, but, but he grinded to the finish line. He just got dominated by Capella. He was dominated on the boards, being a non-factor on the offensive end. Capella didn't have to sweat. You know, Capella really mm-hmm. didn't have to sweat until he mm-hmm. matched up with Embiid, who who Embiid made him look like a G-leaguer. But for us, you know, Capella looked like, you know, uh, Will Chamberlain out there. It, yeah. it was just yeah, tough. Yeah. So I yeah. think, you know, Mitch being able to uh, not just block shots on the perimeter, but just intimidate on the perimeter. Make guys think twice before throwing up mid-range shots or Trey Young throwing up that floater. You know, Mitch's presence has to be accounted for. Also was top of the league in, in uh, offensive rebounding percentage. You know, just having a knack for the for the ball being able to box out well being around that glass and being active around there you know Mitch could have certainly made a difference so I think this year playing with two capable point guards two nice point guards 48 minutes we get 48 minutes of solid point guard play Mm -hmm. I think it's going to help Mitch you got to respect the vertical spacing as well so just durability is the only thing we have to knock on one with but I think Mitch is going to be very big for this team there's something that motivates you in a contract year to make sure you're out on the floor, right? Yeah, like, right, you know, right. Got a business decision. I'm going to play through this one. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully, like I said, hopefully he gets fully cleared in time for training camp. And, you know, we see him right away uh, in the beginning. Because I do think as much as Tibbs loves Noel, because Nerland's is a pro, right? Like, yeah. he's always prepared, knows the scattering report. Like, he is so reliable. Mm-hmm. As a guy, You, it's just a, another level. When Mitch is right, like physically right, and we saw – remember right before he got hurt, that Washington game? Yeah. Who dominated yeah. that first half? Yeah. Like, he yeah. was unbelievable in that in first half. And mm-hmm. it's just – like, that's the guy that really could be a difference maker for this team. And that's something that I think you should be excited about. You but. know, my, my issue with Mitch is maturity. You know, I've yeah. talked about it a bunch of times. I just think when it comes to the maturity piece, I want to see Mitch – step into manhood in a different way for me it's not about the game for mitch it's more about what's in between the ears yeah and for me i think you know with mitch having a child now with mitch you know realizing that i'm not playing with young bucks no anymore you know i'm playing with guys who are mature who are season proven who have been in the trenches like a guy like kimber walker a guy like derrick rose he's going to be playing with these guys night in and night out and i just want to see mitch step it up on the maturity and and i think 
that's the only thing that's missing from him stepping it up on the, you know, on the floor. So for me, I would love to see Mitch turn into a guy who, who trusts his shot, trusts his offense. Yeah. You know, the defense is there. I just want to see what Mitch can do as an overall player and not just a shot blocker. And once we get a Mitch that turns it up on a maturity end, I think that's going to change things for him. I would like to see add something to the game where you, you have to make the defense honor you. Like just some some sort of post moves, you know, it's always great seeing the the Gotham Wob. It's always great seeing just like put back dunks, but he needs more to his repertoire in order to show that he's a viable center and to even demand like if he wants that larger contract, right? To show that he's just more he's more than just a, a one trick pony. Like yes, we need that defensive intensity. You know, we saw when we had Nerlens Noel in the playoffs, someone who couldn't guard the pick and roll as well. You know. Yeah. We, we saw it when it's just trying to get uh, defensive and offensive rebounds. Like Mitch is a really good rebounder, especially on the offensive glass. Mitch yeah. is, I think, underrated. He's a top 10 for the for the past couple of seasons that he's played more Jordan seasons, yeah. top 10 offensive re- rebounder mm-hmm. in the league among centers. So we need that back. And we saw that we missed that dearly in the playoffs. What I really want to see from Mitch is not just the offensive game, but being able to own the paint as well and just box people out, just get better at doing that. We saw the improvement last season. And just really, I don't know, just like own the paint, like actually show that you are dominant in the paint. 